This show is sponsored by PrintByMagic.com. We print directly to your bicycle playing cards. Hello and welcome to this week's Magic World Review Show. I'm James Anthony and this week I am reviewing Jean Miranda's latest effect. It is called Gravity and this is a much anticipated release which when I saw it I really could not believe it. And I was sincerely hoping that the product would live up to its uh, expectation that uh, the video and the trailer showed. So let's give you my review on this and then you can decide if it's the kind of thing that will suit your repertoire as a professional magician. Let me say that because this is definitely a professional trick and uh, probably not for someone who's just a hobbyist unless you've got a lot of money. So here we go. The product itself is Gravity Reel Jean Miranda, it retails at £299. Now, after this review, I will be uh, giving the winners to the last week's review show, uh, which was a couple of weeks back, but the last review show that was shot, uh, the winner will be announced. And then also I'm letting you know about our competition that's running and we'll go to the end of the show. So let's have a look at the trailer to Gravity Reel. The trailer starts by pushing this magical button here. Okay, here we go. So, Jean Miranda has been known to bring out lots of um, electronic magic over the years. Some great, some, mm, you know, mediocre, but always been a very high quality in general. Um, I, I must say that some of the, well, a couple of the past projects have seemed a little bit rushed. This one, not the case. Let's just watch this enlarge because I absolutely love some of the things we can do with this. Just look at the power of this. So you can make things levitate. You can make things move on command. You can control the speed in which they levitate and you can control programs so that you decide exactly when you want that ring to drop. And that is what comes with the power of this reel. Uh, it is super powerful. I've been playing around with this over the weekend because to me it is a James Bond gadget. Let's just keep going here. Um, yep, you can control when it goes to your foot, when it comes back up to your hand. There's your controls going one to ten. All kinds of cool buttons which uh, look great in this sort of trailer but then you've got to ask yourself are they going to work as well as it's being advertised? Is it going to do what is expected? I think that's my phone over there, but forget that. So the question is, does it live up to the expectations of uh, the trailer? You know, you're chatting with David Copperfield at the beginning. You expect it to be a good product. And um, yes, from what I experienced so far this weekend, it's not just a great product. It's a phenomenal product. Now, let's see if there's anything else worth watching in the trailer before I go into showing you this firsthand and kind of playing around with the gimmicks a little bit and just showing you the power of it. So, yep, you can do all these kind of things. Gravity Reel uses two precision motors. We'll go into all of that. Yep, you get, so here's the thing. You get two motors, two separate things. So if one breaks, you can use the other, unless you use it in the loop system. Now, if you use it in the loop system, this means that uh, if it breaks in the middle, you have to replace both. However, if you use one reel in one side and one reel in reel two, you have two separate um, reels, which means you have a backup if one breaks in a real life performance, which is absolutely fantastic. There's nothing worse than the thread breaking just before you're about to do the trick that is the biggest trick at the end of your routine. And often levitation tricks are the strongest tricks um, so you save it to the very end and because of this now you have a backup if something were to go wrong. You can control when the flap moves up, you can control when the card rises. There's so many great aspects in which you can control with gravity. So uh, there we go, let's go back to this view for now. So what do I think of gravity? Well, you get, let's go into what you get first. You get this box, you get loads of cool things inside it. Inside you receive this, which has the two gimmicks side by side. And I'm gonna show you one of them right now. We have this gimmick and we have this gimmick right here. Now this gimmick is actually set up ready to show you a little demo in a second. Um, so I'm being pretty confident considering I'm just learning this to be able to show you um, a demo almost immediately or live without it 
breaking, as you know what it's like with thread. So I'm going to put this one back down uh, nice and neatly, just in case I have messed things up in any way. Uh, this is your control unit. Let's see if we can have a little look at it. Um, we have what they show here, which is the 1 to 10. You can change the speed. You can change motor 1 or motor 2. You can activate or you can vibrate. Then we have three extra settings here. Record, live and play. We have an on and off battery and a very clear low battery here as well with an extra additional tow switch to be uh, linked in if we wish. So let's go into a little demo of this because this is what I'm dying to do. I will show you all the items you get inside it. I mean, yeah, very quickly because I, I don't want to brush along this. You get a lot for your money. Um, in my opinion, you get the tweezers, so you get extra reels. Uh, you get all... I love the way they call it something like, I can't remember, they call it gravity stack or whatever. Uh, and at the end of the day, it's not gravity, it's just white tack or very, very similar. But gravity tack is what it's called. Um, so gravity tack and uh, you get a little mini uh, knife, which is very useful for one aspect of resetting. You get loads of extra vinyl stickers as well. You get the spool, which is here. Um, which I think comes with 15 meters on, but then you can buy repacks for 50 meters. Then you get the USB as well. You get the instruction thing here. And like I say, you get this and the other unit as well. Uh, what, is there anything else I've missed out? Oh, you get a very special card inside, which gives you live access. It's a warranty code and it gives you access to live support from, uh, from them directly. So whenever you need support, you can get right back in touch. So, Let's get into the actual product itself and the little demo that I had set. Uh, now, bear in mind, this demo now has been, let's move that out of the way. This demo has been set about an hour and a half before this review, ready to go at any point. All I have to do is set this to the correct position, which is uh, here, play. Now, this can be on the table or operated by somebody else. I'm just gonna push a button. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> I can't help but smile when I when I see that. Here I've just I've just glued two cars together. There's no reason, but uh, it just helps the uh, the friction when it's on a pad like this. But how cool is that? How powerful is that? And so far. The machines that have been out there up to now, the machines like the uh, Spider Pen and all the others are fantastic tools. And they do not, this is not replacing those tools in any way. Uh, maybe some routines so, other routines not. However, um, this gives you unparalleled control beyond belief. And so far this weekend, and I will give a further review in the future if things change in any way, but so far it has been amazingly reliable, which is the most important aspect of being any performer. So if that changes, I will let you know. However, up to now, that was a routine that I programmed. Now you get three programs in total. You can program uh, one routine into one, one routine into two, one routine into three. For this one, I set up um, a vibration as being the, at the start, the count. So you hit record and you have like a mini program that you can set up. So you hit record, and then, so you just hit any button and it starts a recording. So I hit uh, vibration. Then I count, or you could play music. So you can have music playing, and on beat 30 of that music, suddenly a rose flies up off the table and into your hand. Then you could have it, or you could have it fly across the table and into your hand. <laughs> you, you literally have that level of control over things, like the ring. You can have the ring float out and then have it drop. But you could program in an incredible amount into this. And then you get three positions so that uh, you can come back to this in the future and set it up to go on program two. And now you have a brand new program for another show that you may be doing. Or three tricks within one show. If one of the reels were to break, you have the second reel as a backup as well. So all in all, it is just, it is a James Bond gadget that is beyond belief for magicians. Simple as that. I'll show you once again because I'm that confident I shouldn't say that, that this trick just works without having to worry. So uh, it's on the correct mode. So I'm looking at the mode right now and it's on play mode. 
So play mode is here. I'm just going to actually push any button and that starts a timer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, so far, with very little practice, extremely reliable, and so far I'm absolutely blown away by this product. I mean, beyond blown away. Uh, I can see myself using this in so many different situations because I am primarily a stage magician, and I know for a fact that I would have a use for this. Now, I am just touching base on the millions of different ways you can use this item. Uh, from here, you can use this item with or without this. So if you don't want to use this, simply turn it off. Um, if that's off, this is now in its own mode, which basically activates as an ITR. And you have a complete choice over this. So I'm on motor one, it tells you which one's one and two. And uh, if I hold it down for X number of seconds, I mean, there we go, I'm now controlling this one here. So from here, if I wanted, I say that, I am learning this, so please bear with me. And also, yeah, the batteries are running out on this. I need to charge it up again. So I'm gonna turn this off because at the moment it's linked and I'm still learning how the system works because if you look at this very closely, there are a lot of buttons. There's on-off switches, there's side switches, there's switches here, there's switches all over this. And when you first get it, you will be a little bit overwhelmed by how many things there are and the exact procedure for what buttons you push to get it to do what you want it to do. Um, all in all though, so far, let, let's have another play with this. And I don't wanna play, if I can't work it out now, it's not because it's broken, it's pure and simply because I am not doing it right. So there we go, and now it's there. If I tap it, yep, now it's activated as an ITR. So here's my mistake. And the mistake at the moment is the speed in which it is set. So as I mentioned before, you have a one to nine. Now this can be set via the remote control. Now you've got to be careful if you have it on nearly nine. I pushed it a number of times and it broke the thread over and over again. You have to keep this on a low number unless you really, really know what you're doing. Then on top of that, if this is turned off, you have a way of controlling the motor that is inside this. So at the moment, it is actually working completely. It's retracting and going back. However, uh, it's not strong enough to be pulling the card along right now. If I were to drag it, it will do it, but it will not pull the card. However, if I release the card from here, and I don't wish to go into much more detail, that's to show you that it is fully working. So you can control the levels of speed for motor one and motor two. You can change the thread for motor one and motor two a lot easier than you expect. So I think a lot of people might see it at first and think, oh my God, I have to, uh, I have to get a little standing knife like this and I have to do that and I have to do that to replace the threads in this, in this uh, machine. Yes, you have to do those things. Two, it's really, really easy. You will pick this up in no time at all. Yes, you have to get a little vinyl sticker and you have to touch the end of the thread with that sticker and then touch it to the end of the reel and stick it down. It takes all in all 10, 15 seconds, if you're lucky, to, uh, to get that set up. Uh, if it breaks, sometimes you have to, let, I don't wanna go into too many details, but uh, from here, you're opening it up, you have your reels, which can be removed and put back on. When you remove it, it's just like any other ITR. You just gotta find the spare end. When you find the end, run it back through the little hole that's here, pop this beautiful magnetic thing back on, and then uh, put the ball of wax or whichever you use on the end and it's ready to go. So to fix it is pretty easy. If you've ever worked with thread before, you'll find it super easy. Now, if you've never worked with thread before, um, I, would, I would really, really push you to start with a different product. Don't jump to spending all this money unless you're sure that you want to play around with thread. Start off with a basic ITR for 12, 15 quid. Start off with basic invisible thread for crying out loud, just something to get yourself used to it. And like any item that is thread related, you are gonna break that thread a few times at the beginning. So don't let it get you down. This product, so far, I've never seen anything on the market that works so well. It has been injection molded, uh, beautifully made and engineered and so far 100% reliable. So if anything goes wrong with this or 
shows any sort of um, bugs, I will let you know within the next reviews. But uh, so far, the fact that these two units talk to each other, if that's turned off, it doesn't. You can have this in a loop fashion, so you can have one coming out of here and into here. So you can just get your finger under here and now you have a loop. Where can you put this device? You can put it into your top pocket. You can put it into your pocket here. You can put it into a card box. There's so many ways of uh, having this unit ready to go, or you can build yourself a little box. He has it inside a wallet, which has a bit of money coming out of it. And that's just something that's thrown on the table. And now that is your anchor point. So unlike the spider pen, which I love by the way, the spider pen is amazing because you can have that in your pocket and still go in your pocket for other things. However, with this unit, you're gonna to have to build it up so it's near the top of the pocket. You probably won't be using that pocket for much else than the specific use of an ITR. However, with the spider pen, it's just ready to go on a motor, boom. But if it breaks, you're in trouble. With this, if it breaks and it's in your top pocket, you have a second option to go to. So all in all, you have a lot of power with this. The other thing I would say is, of course, the battery life. Now, that's something that I am learning, and I, I, I'm not going to say how long this lasts until I've really, really played with it. I know that I had this on, uh, I had it on charge this morning and overnight last night, and then I left it on for the whole day for about four or five hours, came back, and it was, uh, battery was running out or flashing. So, certainly before your gig, I would charge it every single time. Uh, especially if you've got a really big performance and you want this to work at the exact moment, charge it a few hours before. Just be absolutely sure that it's had a really good charge. But um, I'm sure it will last a long, long time. But of course, the more you use, if you use another item linking to it, the more power it's using as well. And uh, that is essentially it. The amount of extras you get with it are fantastic. All the USBs, you, you, he's gone over and beyond with what he needed to supply with this unit. He didn't need to give you a little Stanley knife so you can get the little stickers off and put them on the end of the reels. You get it. So all in all, I love this product. I can't really say how much more I'd like. I'd say it's definitely aimed at the professional magicians out there. It's definitely aimed at those that are uh, proficient with thread maybe, or people who have used thread a little bit in the past and who are looking to perform some really visual magic. Uh, you can make things move from a long distance away. My biggest tip with this is just use the amount of thread that you need on the reel. Don't go what I did at the beginning before watching the tutorial and I get a whole room worth of, worth of thread. You only need two, three, four meters, whatever you're gonna use for your effect. And uh, that way, if it breaks and tangles, it's not such a problem to fix it. Um, because all thread, you will have tangling issues, you will have issues like that, however, this minimizes all the chances of that happening in real life. And it really is a fantastic device because it can also fit inside your fingers here. You can be finger palming this device, you can finger palm it this way or this way, and it will just be there to run at any point into your fingers. So from here, boom, it's, it's right there. I think the battery, no, no, the battery's not running out. I have to push the button once. Yep, there we go. Either way, oh, there we go, it's gone. So. There's so many cool ways you can use this. Uh, would I want to be finger palming something this big? That is one big question. And I would say no. I would say I'd rather have this in an anchored position, either on the table inside a wallet or uh, inside a card box. Uh, so that, I mean, super easily, you could build yourself a little system where that fits inside the card box like this, and that's now ready to go. Nobody cares about the card box. It's anchored over there and you're good to go. So all in all, it's a great little device. Would I finger palm it a lot? Probably not, 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 probably not so much. Uh, would I have it inside a box or something else? Yes, I would. Um, so there we go. I hope my review has helped in some way to make your decision whether you want to invest in this because it is quite an expensive item. As you know, um, well, really, it's not expensive for the price. Um, it is £299.99 pence, and for what you receive with this, I actually can't believe it. I really can't, and it's not often I say that in magic, because when magic is wholesale, you're losing money to the wholesaler, and then on top, this has had beautiful injection moulding, great quality programming, and fantastic circuitry, I guess, inside, or I certainly hope so, but either way, it's working brilliantly, and uh, all that for two nine nine. For something that you might get a show and earn 600, 700 quid from, um, to me, it's worth every single 
penny. So that's my review. I'm going to give it a rating out of 10 and I'm going to give it a simple 10 out of 10. Don't get me wrong. If things do change, I will let you know. Like I've said, if uh, for any reason it starts to let me down, I will review my review. However, at the moment, after a weekend of playing with it, I am absolutely uh, overwhelmed by this product. Uh, it will take you a little bit of time at the beginning to learn the tutorials and how to, uh, to, to increase the speed of it. You might have to push this button for five seconds, this one for 10 seconds, hold these two down. It might seem uh, like it's a bit challenging at first, but really it's, it's, it's so easy when you get your head around it. The one last thing I must say that's great for this product is the tutorials. You get loads of them. Clear tutorials on how to set up the device. And then uh, I think there was one aspect, there was one aspect of the tutorials where I wish there was a clearer uh, demonstration on how to link this device to this device. Because nowhere, I don't think they said originally that if you have this device turned on, then this device now works with it automatically. I was worried, do I need to pair it? Do I need to do this? Um, but it kind of assumed that you would know that, or it's something that I had to kind of like learn myself. So if you ever get this, uh, this is turned on and you can hold the buttons down, program it individually, sorry, this, you can program it individually. But when this is turned on, now this works from this. Um, and then if I want this to work alone again, I just turn them both off and turn this one on again. Uh, the last thing I want to say is that you can quite easily have this in your hand or your back pocket with a magnet and you can be controlling it in live because it's very easy to understand where the switches are with your thumb. So you know which is the far right switch, the middle switch, the far switch. You know which is the number, um, number one or number two or the vibrate. So it's very easy with a bit of practice to know where your fingers are. So this could be on your back. You could just very quickly have it in your hand casually while you're talking to people, change the setting, put it back on your back of your uh, magnetic uh, belt or whatever you decide to do with this. And you've now changed it from one setting to another. So I think I've given enough details on this. If you want to hear more or you have any questions, do PM down in the messages down below. Uh, please do not uh, forget to just click subscribe, click the alert button and share this video with all your friends. Uh, let us know what you think about this product if you have it as well. And uh, I'm sure that you will be as excited as I am by it because it's pretty much simply phenomenal. So there we go. Jean Miranda's Gravity Reel. I love it. I do love gadgets though. So uh, let's get on to the winners for last week's review show. And I have the winner on screen here. It is Danny Chi. So Danny Chi, thank you very much for commenting. That meant that you were entered into the competition and you have won. So the prize mentioned last week in the competition, just send us a quick message and we will get you uh, your prize in the post to you. And don't forget our live event, myself and Neo Magic, Vinny from Neo Magic is being held on the 24th of this month uh, to register for it so that you can watch it live where we teach you tricks. We have a great time, do a dealer's demonstration with you. Uh, simply go to Magic World, sorry, for Magic. So the number four, magic.co.uk forward slash event. So for the number four, magic.co.uk forward slash event. Uh, just sign up there. And as well as being signed up to the live event, you will be entered into the over thousand pounds giveaway of incredible magic tricks. Uh, so I've waffled on enough for this amazing uh, review of uh, Jao Miranda's Gravity Reel. I look forward to seeing you in next week's show. I'm James Anthony. Click subscribe, share, and let's have a fantastic